The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Mobile Bay Bears and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Today, with their winning streak of 10 games, they'll try to extend it next. Kyle Gibson, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, coming on Kyle Gibson to pitch. Four pitch mix. Not an overpowering guy. More of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy. Fastball 89 to 93. Curveball, changeup, and slider. He's a guy you'll know if he's on early. He's going to induce a lot of ground balls. If he's getting pop-ups and fly balls, off that's dangerous. He's not a power-type pitcher. Hit. Now with yeah. the plate, Ted Poe. Oh. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And that one's oh, in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. All you can First really pick, say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Hit out towards second. Benedict comes up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Time now to give you a look at the batting the order for the visiting squad. Orville. Mark, what needs to happen Bruce. for them to get out of this rut? Well, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Now at the plate, Orville Drew is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. Third. No, that the was pretty season. impressive, Matt. I really like Five, a pitcher that trusts four. and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, Guy Forbes. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Adam Cullen gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Leading now with the for plate, the Miguel Wahoo. Gutierrez. The third baseman. things off here in the bottom Miguel. half of the first. Gutierrez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you that know what they second. say. You get that leadoff the guy on, fielder. I don't care how it's Nathan. done. He usually comes around to Boy, score. But let's tip our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in order. In now, Nathan Wyatt as he hits one on a line to left field. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Batting third, the first baseman, John Berry.
Into the box, Don Berry will swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Yeah, as you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hats off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front Batting shoulder four. in, kept his no hands inside fielder. the baseball, and ripped Ruin. the base hit up the middle. And if you're Murder. a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Lewis Murdoch. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Gutierrez at second. Barry is over at first with one away. Now the runners take off again. Lying towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with that only one away. The catcher. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Stepping in now, Jesus Sucre. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, this pitcher better make six. an adjustment. That's the a lot of base loud base. contact. That's yeah. four bullets that in the first did. inning to open up this game. In now, Jim Benedict, line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. Great work that to do seven. a job right there. The right field. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball the, uh... to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. At the plate, Bernardo Valencia. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Gets down, he's got himself a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And they've got him hung up out there between second and third. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on five base hits, no errors, and one man left on. One inning in the books here. The Blue Wahoos lead it three to nothing. Stepping in, Brian Cortez off, comes off an 0 for 4 in right last fielder. night's ball game. Ryan. Hey, we're still in Cortez. the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Right. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Love jumping out to an early 3 0 lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute Cortez. out on that mound. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. The 1-2 is swung on and missed. He got him. 
Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. Batting and the guy patrolling the center field today, I can't emphasize this enough. If you want a good ball club, you better be strong up the middle. Center field being that main component with catcher, shortstop, and second base. This guy takes tremendous routes to the ball, strong and accurate arm, and just a leader on the field. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Bryant Adair. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Zero. And that's by him, it's 0 and 1. Ah. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. This one in the air out to left. Murdoch has a play. Two down. Batting six. The shortstop. Edgar. Da Silva. Into the box. Edgar Da Silva. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Valencia on the move. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Batting seven. Definitely tried to elevate the heater two. right there with two strikes, Joe. but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Into the box, Chu Cho. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2. Let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. Popped up. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Settling in now, Julio Garcia. Up, he also had three Wahoo. hits in the win last night. That's short stop. One of the keys to securing Julio. the win. They want to keep Garcia. the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and there's one away. Batting ninth. Stepping up to the plate, hitter. Luis Martinez Lewis. comes into this Martinez. one with three hits and 11 at bats in the series. First pitch of the at bat. Slap hard the opposite way. Adair is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. now. Boy, sometimes the they say you hit it hard, good Miguel. things will happen. Well, that's not the good case team, right Harris. there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Standing in now, Miguel Gutierrez. Line to the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Wow, and the hits just keep the piling up fielder, for them. Take a three. look at the numbers here. That's Nathan. already six hits, and we're Quiet. only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. Ready for another chance. Nathan Wyatt, he gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch on its way. Hit hard back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And we take a look at the line right here, and it's not pretty. 
He's given up seven hits. The first baseman, number only six. in the second inning. Yaw. So one of three things is going Very. to happen. He's either going to buckle down and start hitting his spots. He's going to continue to get shelled. Our game is going to last about five hours. Or he's going to get the hook early and head for the showers. Stepping in now, Don Barry. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Gutierrez over at second. Wyatt on at first with two down. Lifted down the line and left. Adair is in pursuit, and they can't run it down. Here's the 0-2. Chopped toward the second baseman. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So after the three-spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Wahoos are on top, three to nothing. In Reed Hamby looking for field. better results the than last hitter. night when he went 0 for Three. 4 in that one. Hamby. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off and a fastball ball. close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1 0. The 1 1. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The one two. Fouled off. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now another 1-2. A ball hit softly on a line to third. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first out. Batting nine. The second baseman. Joseph Oliver. Now batting, Joseph Oliver. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. First pitch coming. Here it is. On the ground to the left side. Played on the backhand. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Now batting, third baseman, Jay Ho. Ready now, Ted Poe. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Popped him up. Gutierrez shading to his right, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Lewis Murdoch. He reached on a single in his Wahoo. first try. The left fielder, Lewis Here's Murdoch. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the, catcher, the wall right there, but 40. the outfielder does a really Eight good two. job, b -roll, of getting that Sucre. one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there, not putting his head down, being over-aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. Into the box now, Jesus Sucre. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit.
Now batting, the second baseman, Jim Benedict. Taking in the switch hitter, Jim Benedict, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Uh, very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. Without question, the more comfortable side being from the right side. So he's going to have his work cut out for him here, hitting left-handed. Murdoch on second. Sucre on at first with nobody out. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Now batting. And now time right is fielder. called here as their pitching Bernardo. coach is going to pay a quick visit well, to the mound see, uh... to discuss how they want to attack things here. Stepping into the box, Bernardo Valencia. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. The batter, a number five. Base is loaded. Last Short thing you want to do is Julio. round into a double play. And that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Into the box, Julio Garcia, and he fouls this one off. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the 0-1. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. So they continue to swing now the bats it. well here in the, the opening month of the hitter. season as we take Lewis. a look at the team leaderboard Mark for total Dan. runs scored. And as you see, they currently lead the Southern League in that category. Striding forward now is the D.H. Luis Martinez trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First pitch of the at-bat. Slap hard the opposite way. Adair is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on four base hits. No errors and a runner left on. Three innings complete. Pensacola's out in front here, five to nothing. Digging in now, Orville Lead Drew. For He's Mobile. all for one thus the far. Fielder. Lots of baseball Orville. left in this one as we're still Drew. early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. Aye. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional Four. hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Standing in now, Guy Forbes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The windup and the 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. Garcia fields it cleanly. And there's out number two. 
well executed right two-seamer on the outside corner right that in. time. And, and that's right what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So digging in now, Brian Cortez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. In there at the knees, on strike one. He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why, 80% first pitch strike ratio. If he continues that, he might be able to finish this one. Hit on the ground to third. To his left, Gutierrez. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ready once again, Miguel Gutierrez. For the Already Blue two for two. He'll look to add on right baseman. here. Even though they're by a boatload early Guilty on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, they've obviously locked in on something now here. Batting. They know this Fielder. pitcher likes to get ahead, Nathan. and they've done nothing Wyatt. but be aggressive early in the count. There's another leadoff single to get him going. In now, Nathan Wyatt. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The first Left baseman, Fielder number really six. Never had a chance at Yaw. that one at all. There it was is. over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots Your anyone would please. feel good about. Now, well, Morales field. answers the call Number from the pen four. here in the fourth as Manuel. they didn't get the outing they were Morales. hoping for from their starter. So stepping in, Don Berry. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Now batting. Bases Left are loaded, yet Blew no it. runs have scored in this inning. Blew yeah, that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. First offering on its way. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And they won't push things here as they'll hold the second runner at third. So they're loaded now, now with still Catcher. nobody out. Eight, Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch Duke you'll Ray. see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes. Aggressive style. First pitch. Base hit up the middle. Into the box now. Jesus Sucre takes this the other way to right. Boy, and caught off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. One run scores. And the stop sign will smartly go up at third as they hold the second runner and they'll the again batter. be loaded with the still baseman. nobody out. When you're yeah. up by seven runs any time did. in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. First delivery to him on the way. 
Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's eight to nothing. Yeah, they've already pushed eight runs now across, it. and it's still right early. Fielder. I'm not sure Bernardo. what the answer is. At this Valencia. point, you might just consider leaving the pitcher out there. You don't want to waste your bullpen in a game like this. Then again, it's early, so you don't want to throw in the towel either. So striding forward now, Bernardo Valencia. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Julio. So Garcia. coming to the plate, Julio Garcia. And they're runners at the corners now. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Into right field. That's a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 10 nothing score. The batter, the designated hitter, Luis Martinez. Next will be the designated hitter, Luis Martinez. First pitch coming, here it is. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. A step on the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five more runs cross the plate. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Blue Wahoos lead it 10 to nothing. Now to the plate, Bryant Adair. He's in to get Leading things going here in inning number five. The this field. one doesn't look good number so far. 16. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Now the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Oh, and one. Oh, one's the count. Hey, I never want to take an offense's aggression away, but they've been swinging at a lot of pitches early in the count. Find themselves down. I think they need to regroup, have a meeting in the dugout, and figure out a way to maybe look at some pitches. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 oh, now. The windup and the 0-2 oh, pitch. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. An early look at the line score here tonight now as we play the top of the fifth. Up. And boy, just Edgar. one lone hit for the visitors Let's this evening up. as they've been taken to task by this starter. At the plate, Edgar Da Silva. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. High in the air out to center field. Wyatt is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Catcher. Shoe. Show. Digging in for his second at bat. Chu Cho. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Right. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. Fouled away. Hit softly on the ground to third. To his right, Gutierrez. 
Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Wahoos are on top, 10-0. Stepping up now, Miguel Leading Gutierrez. Up with He's looking to go four the third for baseman. four with a base hit Miguel right here. Gutierrez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. This is flared out towards second, and this will be put away easily for the out. The center and fielder, there's a final look three. at the numbers for the starter in Nathan. this one. Not the night he Quiet. or his club were hoping for. Well, this certainly wasn't what they were looking for in this one. They were hoping to get some innings, but you could see right from the get-go, he just didn't have it in this one. Lasting only three innings. A lot of outs now to get from that bullpen. First pitch of the at bat. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Drew is underneath this one, and he's got it for out number two. Now batting, first baseman, Don, in, Don Barry. Barry. He's two for three thus far. First offering on its way. Back up the middle. And gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, now you'll batting. take three for four every fielder. day of the week. Yeah, in Lewis. today's day and age, Dan, where Murga. everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Into the box, Lewis Murda in there. Now the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Comes set with the 0-1. It's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Barry at third with two away. The runner's breaking for home. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now batting. Catcher, Jesus. Stepping Sucre. in and ready for another shot. Jesus Sucre. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. Five innings complete. Pensacola's out in front here, 11 to nothing. Stepping into the box, Reed Hamby. He'll start things out in their Reed half of the sixth Mobile. as they look to shake things up hitter. here for a lineup Reed that, quite frankly, has been Hamby. non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. The windup and the 0-1. This is skied into short left center. Garcia backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now back. That's exactly the what they base. wanted out of that pitch Joseph. up in the zone. They Oliver. took him off the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. 
Standing in now, Joseph Oliver, as he nope. takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Murdoch racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batting the third baseman, Ted Poe. At the plate, Ted Poe, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. In now, Orville Drew. The center fielder, number 35. As he'll take a look at a Orville. high strike here on the outside Drew. corner. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. On the ground to third. To his right, Gutierrez. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So it's one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. The Blue Wahoos lead it 11 to 1. Your Williams attention, Jerez please. Gets the call to now pitch here, and he'll try mobile. to sort this mess out. Number He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So striding in, Jim Leading Benedict will have Blue the opportunity Wahoo. to kick things the off as baseman. we begin the home six. Jim Benedict. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now batting right fielder, Bernardo Valencia. Riding in once again, Bernardo Valencia. First delivery to him on the way. Owen won the count. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. This is line to left, and a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at the bats. Batter, number Both five. of them hit on the absolute Shortstop. screws. One's Julio. right at one guy, and then one's a Garcia. single. Go figure. Into the box now, Julio Garcia, as he grounds one briskly to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Great. 
Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front now of him. That's, the that's all they could hit do him. right there, Dan. You know, if you were in a spot like that, Marty that's an Dad. infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. Into the box, Luis Martinez. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Valencia at second. Garcia at first, one gone. Both runners on the move again. Now here's a swing, and this is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. Three-run home run down the line in right. Second home run early in the year as this lead got even wider. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel Gutierrez. Stepping in now, Miguel Gutierrez. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix now it up batting, a little bit more because they fielder, are on his stuff. Nathan Wyatt. In now, Nathan Wyatt. High in the air out to center field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. The first baseman, number six, John Barry. Digging in and looking for more, Don Barry. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The 0 and 1 delivery. High and deep to right center. Drew sprinting after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We're through six full. The Wahoos are on top, 14 to 1. Back here on the show. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Striding into the box, Guy Forbes, third trip to the plate the for him here tonight. 0 for Guy. 2 at this point. It doesn't Four. look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number the seven. The right fielder, number five, Brian Cortez. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Brian Cortez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now a swing and a fly ball. Valencia giving chase, but this will land untouched. The windup and the 0-1. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Count remains at 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. 
He pops up the changeup, heading out towards shallow right. Barry takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. The batter, number 16. Ready for another shot now. Bryant Adair, he got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. A bouncer to the left side. Gutierrez takes it in. Pro to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ladies Roberto and gentlemen, Ortiz your attention enters please. now in a mop-up role now that she'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 34, Roberto Ortiz. Lewis Murdoch will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left Leading side now. For the Blue Wahoos, the left fielder. First Lewis. pitch of the at bat. Murdoch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. <laughs> Again, another foul ball. Another one sent foul. High in the air out to center field. Drew has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Catcher. Jesus. Sucre. Coming to the plate now. Jesus Sucre. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Line towards center field, and that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. Now batting second baseman, Jim Benedict. Standing in, Jim Benedict will swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Now a swing and a little soft liner to the left side. Foul. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Adair. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Bernardo Valencia. Now at the plate, Bernardo Valencia. He's two for four in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Hit hard down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. This guy came into today absolutely on fire, and the nothing batter, has changed. Five. He looks Shortstop seriously Julio. hitterish at the dish right now. Garcia. That's his third knock of the game. Into the box now, Julio Garcia pulled toward right center field. Drew is after it. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Into the box now, Silva. We're in the eighth Leading now, and Mobile. nothing's changed out the there on the mound. 
Well, Ed I've been Gurr. very impressed with how this Good starter's Silva. going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first down of the inning. The batter, the catcher, shoo, show. Digging in, Chu Cho. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into right field, that's a base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things the you want to do, D Rose, you have to try Reed. to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. First offering on its way. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Barry is under it. Two gone. Now batting. Second With that, base. we'll give you a look at our Joseph starter comparison for Oliver. the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Digging in once again, Joseph Oliver. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, fouled off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Cho is off of first with two away. And he fouls this one off. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Barry is there, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Pensacola's out in front here, 14-1. to Into the box now, Lewis Leading Martinez. For the Blue He's Wahoo. one for four for the game. The designated hitter, Lewis Martinez. First pitch coming, here it is. Drilled right back up the middle. And a dive, but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel Gutierrez. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Miguel Gutierrez. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now the a five-hit ball Number game three. for him here. And those don't come along Nathan. every day. Wyatt. Standing in now, Nathan Wyatt. Thought he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone, a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. Home run number three here in the early going as they just continue to pour it on here. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in this series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. Your Joey attention, please. Dias comes on to now pitch now, hoping for, for better results than the other arms that they've run out Joey. there in this one. 
Padilla. Now batting, Stepping in first now, baseman, Don Barry. Don Barry. Nice swing and hit this one hard, but fouled off to the left and out of play. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. The wind up and the 0-1. Line hard toward right center. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. The relay throw. Well, he is in there with a triple. Great job hitting there and maybe now a better batting. job of hustling no around the bases. Got to like that. And I'm told that's his fifth Murder. triple so far on the season. Into the box, Lewis Murdoch. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Four hits already in this one and looking for number five here. Lifted the other way to left center. Adair on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Hey, the catcher, every pitcher likes 40. to have some run score hey, for him, but particularly when you're throwing Super. as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next to hit is the catcher, Jesus Sucre. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Adair moves over. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. The second baseman. Jim Benedict. Now in the box. Jim Benedict. First pitch of the at bat. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Cortez is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So it's four runs on four hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up. The Blue Wahoos lead it 18 to 1. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ted Poe. Off yeah, Mobile. Matt, that last at bat, the third that was a pretty good pitch. Yeah. A fastball down oh. and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Popped up. Barry moving to his left. One down. The center fielder, number 35, Orville Drew. In now, Orville Drew. Outfield comes way in here, the first pitch. And a called strike down in the oh, zone. Man. Nothing in one. One out. Nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Valencia is there and he has it for the out. The batter. The first baseman. Guy Forbes. Coming to the plate now. Guy Forbes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just oh, off the outside, and it's 1 0. Oh. 
two out, nobody on. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys using the whole field the right there, D-Row. I like to see that a lefty Ryan. that's just not always Gordon. pull happy. 100%, Dan. The pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field, you're going to struggle. Into the box now. Brian Cortez lifted down the line in left. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Hey, Christmas come the early for the batter right Number there. 16. Down 0-2, and he gets a cookie middle cut. The pitcher's lucky he's getting this ball back. Standing in now, Bryant Adair, high in the air and deep to straightaway left. He leaps and makes the catch as he crashes into the wall. And with that, the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. 18 to 1 this evening. The Blue Wahoos hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Kyle Gibson takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, turning in a very strong complete game effort. Adam Cullen was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This Time has been a presentation of MLB The Show. Minutes. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.